Hey Stampers, welcome to Brandy's Cards. So uh, where in the world has Brandy Cox been? Well, let me tell you, I have been moving. And um, you know, it's, it's quite funny. My husband says, okay, so you need to get started early because your craft room is gonna be the biggest project in the house. And I'm just like, shoot, you know, it's just gonna take a couple days. Everything will be fine, I'll pack it up. Okay, so I have to admit, he was absolutely right. Um, I'm borderline hoarding all kinds of crafting stuff, and it was a big, big job. But you know, it was awesome, um, it was worth it. And so we've brought all of our things here, and we've been in our new home now for about six days and absolutely love it here. Um, and you know, in the process of kind of all of the moving, as you know, there's lots of boxes and it's really hard to find stuff. So what I decided was, um, you know, stamping is my stress reliever and I absolutely love it and it makes me relax. So I thought, okay, how am I gonna do this? I can't find my stamps. Um, I have not been able to find my stamp pads as of yet, but everything labeled craft room, it went to the spare bedroom <laughs> as of right now. So it's definitely, um, some of the boxes are as tall as I am, um, but eventually we'll get through them one box at a time. Anyway, so I had to figure out another way to get some crafting in, and I missed all of you as well as I've received so many kind emails uh, checking on me and asking where I've been and what's been going on and your thoughts and your prayers. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate every single one of them. Um, so that is where I have been. I've been moving. And so today what we're going to do is I bought the Stampin' Up! Water Wishes kit omg my gosh it is fantastic you are gonna love it and you know when i saw in the catalog the stampin up catalogs are out and right now they're on back order and so if you've requested a catalog within the last probably week and a half i apologize um, they have not shipped yet hopefully um, they'll ship on monday july 10th um, or i'm sorry july 13th i think it is but i'm not sure so we'll just have to wait and see if it ships. That'll be great. But your catalogs are coming, I promise you, and I assure you, as soon as I get them, I will send them to you. Um, so let's turn to page 152 in your Stampin' Up! annual catalog, 2015 annual catalog. The project kits are phenomenal. So you'll see we've got four kits here on these pages. But then if you turn to page 155, you'll see the Watercolor uh, Wishes card kit. Yes, I've spoke about this card kit before. Here it is. You can make 20 cards out of this kit. And you know, when I saw it in here, I've been so excited for it to be available. Stampin' Up! made it available July 1st, 2015, and I just, I knew I had to have it. So I went ahead and I ordered a couple kits so that I could make them for you today. Now before I go any further though, I do want to pull up here page 80. Take a look at page 80. So this is the stamp set that is exclusive to this kit. Phenomenal, absolutely beautiful. You have thank you, uh, happiest birthday wishes. You've got congratulations for you, hello, you're loved. I mean, that stamp set right there covers so many things. So once your kit is all done, you have got lots of, uh, lots of opportunity to continue to create. So this is how your watercolor wishes kit comes. It's pretty, it's packaged fantastic. And you just go ahead and slide your belly band off and then all of the goodies are on the inside. Now it kind of reminds me of a paper pumpkin box. And you guys who are paper pumpkins uh, subscribers, you guys know that when that box comes, it's like woo hoo, yeah. I mean, it's exciting. And um, I have to tell you, it's even more exciting for me because I can't find anything. To have it all come together is pretty awesome. Um, okay, so check this out. So we've got some really pretty sequins and then there's some wood embellishments. These things are absolutely stunning. Love them. Then we've got some washi tape and here is your photopolymer stamp set. Really great sentiments in here. So um, I think you guys are gonna enjoy that. When it comes, it's all pre-packaged, just so lovely. I mean, really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it all up here we go. I'm going to take this aside. Now, I recommend saving this belly band on these things. This is so pretty. And you'll see inside of here there is um, there's a card with this type of uh, stripes. And it's just so pretty. So save that because you can use that as an embellishment later on something. 
We're going to set all of our envelopes aside. You've got three sizes of cards here. So three sizes of envelopes included. That makes me very happy. And, oh, look at this. You have all the instructions. Yes, we love that. We love the instructions. So now the good thing about this is if you're a beginner stamper, this is a fantastic kit to get started. You have the embellishments, you have the stamp pads, you have the Stampin' Dimensionals, um, and of course the directions. So you can follow it as is, or you can switch it up a little bit and make it your own. So let's open up the directions here. Um, I just think this is fantastic. It's all very visual, very, very pretty. Um, you can just see all of the possibilities. So you're gonna make 20 cards out of this one kit. You see that? There we go. Very, very pretty. So I have already put together one kit and I've been very excited about doing this video for you guys because I just think these cards are so stunning that I just, I couldn't hardly wait to show them to you. Comes with a block, so you do have a block, which is, is fantastic. I, this is my second kit that I've opened because I've now done a kit for you. Um, so I'm gonna not open that block. Um, then it comes with your, your uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. You've got a Watermelon Wonder stamp spot, and you've also got a Knight of Navy, so you have two different colors to work with. So we'll set those aside. And this box just keeps on giving, I tell ya. So here is our, um, in our basically our die cuts. You've got self-adhesive die cuts in here, also known as stickers. Um, and then you've got some die cuts that just pop out some flowers and things. So let's take a look at this. Ooh, those are so pretty, I love them. Look here. I mean, you have all of these different possibilities. You have all of your different labels. They're all like ready to be punched out and to be stuck right to your card. So, I mean, awesome. Now this, these are, these are your self-adhesive die cuts. They're actually stickers, if you will. And you can just stick these to your cards. So I just, I mean, wow. So you get all of this. Now before I get started, I know you guys are ready for me to get started, but this kit is just, just keeps on giving and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So check this out. This is a fun watercolor, um, a water, what is it, watermelon wonder, yes. And this is just a really pretty watercolored look. The cardstock is fantastic. I believe it's the new pound, um, the 100 pound cardstock. Or is it 80 pounds, I believe? I have to look at the catalog. Then look at these, um, these hearts. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful cardstock. And so I'm gonna pull out a couple of these cards that I'm gonna do for you today. And you'll see here, look at that pattern. That is so much fun. And here is the, um, the stripes that I was showing you before. These are the stripes from the, um, the belly band that I told you to save. Very, very pretty. Absolutely love them. All right, so I could go through all of these and show them to you, but I'm gonna show them to you finished at the very end, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick out a couple of these cards to do for you today. So here was one that I absolutely loved. So I'm gonna put this aside. Now what I recommend, and of course you can do it whatever, however it works best for you. For me, I left everything intact, um, you know, just because it was almost easier to flip through five sheets of these die cuts versus, um, you know, setting them all out on the table. But if it's easier for you, go ahead and fold your cards in half, set them down, and you can just look at the picture and pick out the embellishments and put them on top. So then you can just kind of do each card as you go, and it's very, very simple. All right, so today we're gonna do this card right here, and it looks like I've picked most of the bigger cards. Um, so I'm gonna flip through here, and I'm gonna find, there it is, there's my watermelon. And I know that I love this pattern. I just think that pattern is so fabulous. So we're gonna pull that one out. And that one was also one of my favorites, the yellow. Oh, I just thought that was so fabulous. So let's find that one. Here's this one. And the very last one, that we're gonna do today is one of those beautiful cards. So let's see, I might actually switch that one up on you guys and do one of these that I have sitting next to me as a surprise. All right, so we're gonna put these aside. I know you guys are ready for me to show you some stampin'. I'm just so excited about all the goodies that come in it. All right, so what we're gonna do first is now this is a photopolymer stamp set, so I do recommend that you grab your Stampin' Up! catalog or a book of some sort and this is just a book that I had on the ground. 
I'm gonna pick this up here. Now remember, all of my stuff is in boxes, so I have made myself a, um, a stamp cleaner. I took a little a lid of, of something random, <laughs> a Tupperware, put a paper towel in there, put some water. So um, you only need three things to stamp, folks. You need a stamp pad, you need stamps, and paper. And so that's really all I have here. Um, but the kit has provided me with the um, embellishments, and it's also provided me with the block. So I am good to go. Now I did find, I do have my scissors and some glue in case I needed it, and I also brought out some mini glue dots. So if you have some of those, I highly recommend that you use them. Now these stamping spots, to get these to work, all I would do is just kind of take, and you can take your scissors and kind of go along the edge here, and that will open it. I have two already open, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. So the first card we're going to make is this pretty one right here. So what I would recommend is finding it in your directions. So there it is right there. And as you can see here, Stampin' Up! has its time to celebrate. But I need lots and lots of thank you notes. So I'm gonna go with a thank you sentiment. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm actually gonna use my the, the stamp set that I had used prior to this video um, because you know what? I, you know, I honestly will, will send this to one of my customers. I'll send this um, stamp set right here to one of my customers as a gift for a purchase. So I don't really want to use it. I want to keep it new. All right. So here Stampin' Up! shows that they use the time to celebrate. See this here? Time to celebrate. They did it in navy. Well, you know what? These are our cards, so we can use any sentiment that we want. And I need thank you. So I've opened up the Knight of Navy. I'm just gonna ink it up really, really good. And this seems easier to me to apply the ink by setting the stamp down and then using the stamp pad and kind of tapping over the top. And before we do that, I mean, come on, Brandy. A little rusty here. Okay. So here's your, uh, your little die cut. We're gonna pop that baby out of there. And I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stamp thanks right across. Straight down, straight up. Okay, that's it. So you guys are gonna go, oh my gosh, this is too easy. So now here we have, we've gotta pull out one of our little um, banners. And we just have to find where the banners are. There they are. So we're gonna pull out a banner. There's one. And I'm just gonna kind of position it along the bottom. Now you could certainly, if you don't like that it's too long, you can certainly, you know, kind of tick, uh, I don't know, I don't mind just folding it over the back. It doesn't bother me, but if that bothers you, then just snip it off if, with some scissors, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Stampin' Dimensionals that I have here, and I am going to, actually there they are, and I'm gonna put three or four dimensionals right here on the back of my sentiment and then I'm going to stick them on top of my card. So this is the perfect kit for those of you who send me an email and say, Brandy, I am new to stamping. I am super excited. I don't know where to start or even what to do. Let me tell you, this kit will get you like way excited. Um, it's absolutely stunning and um, there's lots of room to be creative and change it up on your own. So I'm going to add my little sentiment right there. Perfect. That's it. Now, Stampin' Up! didn't use a yellow flower, and you know, it's kind of funny. I don't know if you guys have ever helped your kids put together a Lego set, and you start to put it together, and then when you're all done, you're so proud of your masterpiece, but you're like, okay, I've got 20 pieces left, and I have no idea why. Well, when I put this together, I had leftover wooden embellishments, lots of washi tape left over. I had, um, I had a handful of flowers left over, as well as sequins. So with that said, I decided to add some things to it myself. So you can see here that I added this fun little flower, which you certainly don't have to. Um, and in that card, you'll see I actually stamped it in red. But this one I stamped in blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this yellow flower, which I think is so very pretty. And I'm gonna pull a couple little leaves. These leaves are already done for you. And if you have mini glue dots, it makes it really easy. You can use a mini glue dot to kind of stick those, to stick them onto your, um, your card. And then here's another little leaf. We're gonna stick him down as well. And I kind of like them sort of, you know, kind of sprouting off the sides of each other. Take a Stampin' Dimensional. This is where, you know, your, your dimension's gonna come in. 
and then you can just stick your flower right on top. So look at that, it's beautiful. So this is watercolor, um, I'm sorry, watermelon wonder, and this is Night of Navy, and they're both absolutely beautiful. And I mean, and Stampin' Up! has already given you the idea. Look how easy we made that card in like 20 seconds. I know I talk a lot, but I just am having so much fun. I love this. So let's move on to this card right here. And I have all of my card bases again, right here underneath the ones that I was gonna make for you guys today, some of my favorites. And here's the Watermelon Wonder. We're gonna fold it in half. They're pre-scored as well. Talk about spoiled. And so here you can see that there's washi tape on this card. You can bring it here right next to us, or you can open up your directions and find the Watercolor Wonder, or the Watermelon Wonder card right there it is. This is the one we're gonna do. So I can see it right here, um, and I just happen to have the example. So again, what the best thing for me, I felt like, is just find all the pieces that I wanna use and set them aside. So there's my leaves and my flower. And now we have to find a banner. So there's a, it looks like there's a banner in here. Um, there it is, right there. So just pop that banner right out. And now we can set those things aside. And then you can see one of the wooden hearts. I mean, these things are so cool. I mean, if you guys have not used these yet, they are fun, fun, fun. And so there's butterflies in there, there's solid hearts, and then there's these little open ones. Very pretty. Since my, um, my stamp is already inked up with Knight of Navy, I'm gonna go that route again. So here we go, we've got Knight of Navy. We're gonna ink up our Thanks stamp one more time. Get it good and inked up. And then we're gonna stamp it straight down and straight up. Perfect. See that there? Perfect. Now I'm gonna take and put a little mini glue dot underneath my leaf. I'm gonna kind of set that off to the side here. And I'm gonna go with a Stampin' Dimensional right in the center of my flower. Pop it up right there. Now what I recommend is if you have some Tombow glue, some adhesive, um, I, you know, I wouldn't, you could try to put a mini glue dot behind this, but I just don't think it would work as well. Um, but if you go ahead and you can just put a little bit of glue right here in the back. Before I do that, let's go ahead and add our um, washi tape to our card. And the reason is, is because this is going to take a couple of seconds to set up and dry. So that's probably the last, um, the last thing that we should do. So we're going to go ahead and set our washi tape right here across the bottom. And you know, I'm not all that particular as far as like making it absolutely perfect. Nobody knows what it's supposed to look like to begin with. So just try to keep it as straight as you can and, and just put a little washi tape down. I'm gonna put some Stampin' Dimensionals behind my sentiment. Right here behind my sentiment. And we're gonna pull the little things off. There we go. And so now it shows, it just kind of sets right there on top of that. Oh, it's amazing when you add these sentiments, how these things come to life. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow glue just right here behind my heart. And I just like to set right there. Perfect. Very, very pretty. So see, that's all, I mean, that's it. So we have another one done. Very pretty. Okay, so let's move on. This one, I just loved this background and I just, I have got to recreate this background. Absolutely stunning, very, very pretty, and it definitely gives you that watercolor rich feel, very pretty. So again, it's scored, we're gonna fold it in half. And what do we have to do now? Well, we have to find our label. And here, now this is a fun thing, here we've got the, um, we're gonna use another one of the, the fun little stickers in here, self-adhesive die cuts. So this actually just peels right off, just like that, see? Pretty easy, right? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to set this right, I'm gonna line it up here on the edge and just kinda line that right um, across the bottom of your cart. Now I'm gonna grab one of my other banners and I'm just gonna bump that up right next to it and make sure it's flush with the side of my cart. Great. Now, because I need lots of thank you notes, I'm gonna go ahead and just use thank you, thanks again. And I'm gonna use my Knight of Navy. Now remember, there's like, I mean, there's all kinds of sentiments in here. So you don't have to use thanks on all of your cards. You can use anything you'd like. So we have our die cut. We're gonna stamp straight down, straight up. 
We're going to flip it over, add a few Stampin' Dimensionals. We're going to stick it to our card and add our heart. Now let me tell you, I am so excited about this kit. I absolutely loved it and I've ordered like three. So I'm planning on sending this kit out or these, um, these cards out to all my customers who've placed an order with me in the month of July. And if you haven't gotten your stand, uh, thank you note for June, I am behind because of the move and I do apologize. So I promise you they're coming. I'm working on them and I will be sending them out slowly. So you will be getting them, I promise. Um, but you have to give me a, just a little, little bit longer because it's been, it's been a crazy time. So now I've got uh, my heart and I'm just gonna use a mini glue dot and I'm gonna add that here to my thanks. There you go. See, love it, right? I mean, how easy is that? I'm just in love with these cards. I just think they are fantastic and you can totally just have fun with it and just do all kinds of different things. All right, so here is one that I want to do for you, and it is, let's see here, i got to go up here and grab all of my things and make sure I have my card base, and this will be one of the last cards that I'll do for you guys today. So I think it could be over here. Now remember, there's three different sizes. You make 20 cards out of this, so there is lots and lots of possibility in here, and we just got to find the right base. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Very pretty. Okay, so we'll just set that right back here. You can see again it's scored. We're going to fold it in half. And I'm going to pull this a little closer. So here we go. We're going to take and we have our watermelon wonder strip. And we want to use the banner on both sides. And remember, Stampin' Up! has all of the directions right here. So you could certainly um, you know, look at these directions, or you can totally make it your own. It's entirely up to you. Uh, so, I, you know, I actually made them all as is, but I'm excited to kind of make, switch some of them up on my next kit. So I'm gonna set this right here. And again, I'm not too particular. I mean, I can see how Stampin' Up! has done it. Um, and so I don't worry too much about placement. I just try to keep it straight, okay? So here we go. This one says, you are loved. So I'm gonna take my thanks off and I'm gonna add you are loved. And then what we have to do is we have to find our die cut. So let's see here. Let's find our die cut, pretty easy, there it is. Not pretty, I just think that is so pretty. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And then our pretty flowers. So it looks like Stampin' Up! used this pretty one here and then they used a yellow and they've got a couple of leaves in here. And then, let's see, a blue flower it looks like, this little blue guy here. Now again, you can use any ones that you want. Um, but you know, I decided to kind of keep it as is. I just thought they did a lovely job. Watermelon Wonder, we're gonna ink up You Are So Loved in Watermelon Wonder and set that aside. We're gonna stamp straight down, straight down, straight up, oh! Gosh, it's so pretty and it's so easy. It's like hard to believe how easy it is. We're gonna flip it over, add a few Stampin' Dimensionals to the back. And then we're gonna add this to the top of our card and then we're gonna add all of our embellishments. Then I'm gonna show you every single card in person that I've made with this kit. And I'm gonna tell you some more good news. So we're gonna set this right here, right on top of our banner. And now this, I honestly like to make sure that you either glue or you use a mini glue dot because I like the layers on this. You want, you want some dimension. In order to do that, you're going to want to probably glue a flower or two flat and then use a Stampin' Dimensional to pop one up. That's going to give you a little bit of that dimension that you might be looking for. So we're going to add another mini glue dot to this leaf and I'm going to offset it just like that. Now I'm going to use a mini glue dot on my, um, on my yellow flower because I want that one to be flat. So this one's going to be flat. I also, I'm going to take the blue flower here and I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional behind it so that it's a wee bit popped up, gives me a little bit of dimension, just like that. And then I'm going to use a mini glue dot and I'm going to tuck the pretty blue one, the darker blue one, right in here. 
there you go. So that kind of gives it a little bit of fun dimension. And you know, you could even come in here and fold these things a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more life too. Now here you can see you have a whole fun bag of sequins. Um, these are just so pretty. There's some blue ones in here and um, some like pearly looking uh, sequins. So you can take those out. I recommend using mini glue dots when you use these. What I like to do is just kind of decide, okay, I'm gonna use a couple of the pearl ones and I just put it right onto the mini glue dot. And then I like this blue one, so I'm gonna use that as well. And I think I'm gonna keep Straight with Stampin' Up's theme because it's just too pretty. Um, I mean, they did such a fantastic job. And so it looks like they may have tucked one up here and then they added a blue one kind of right over in here. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely stunning and it's so easy to do. I just followed the picture. I just watched, um, just looked at the picture, found all of the, the things that I needed to make this card and Wham Kabamo, here it is, and it's stunning. So, um, you know, let me show you some of the other cards that I've made with this kit. And keep in mind that if you place an order in the month of July, I'm gonna take everybody's names and I'm gonna randomly put them in a jar and I am gonna pull out a winner or two for the um, Watercolor Wishes kit. So I have two extra kits and I would love to send two lucky winners um, this kit. It is absolutely amazing, and I think you're gonna enjoy it as much as I have. Um, so I'm excited to do that. So if you place an order in the month of July, then I'm gonna take all of those names, I'm gonna put them in a hat or a bucket, and I promise you I will draw a winner and I will make sure and let you guys know. So you have to check brandyscards.com to see, all right? So here we go. This is one of them. This is a thanks. This is the one that we just did. Here is, um, here's the other pretty one and it looks like with the heart, and the yellow flower here on there. Now this one is just a note and I like how the hearts are on this one. We stamped the hearts in red. Add a little bit of washi tape, some of your sequins. Now this one was actually supposed to have a banner behind it right here. This one was supposed to have a banner, but I honestly liked it very plain. Um, I thought it was very pretty just the way that it was. Um, but Stampin' Up! showing it with a banner. That's probably why I have a few extra pieces left over. Um, it really wasn't intentional, but I, I ended up really liking it. So uh, this one stamps hello and it's got the pretty flowers, got a banner and some more washi tape. This one's fun, time to celebrate. I liked the colors. I liked the small banner here at the top. And you know, again, you can stamp anything that you want as your sentiment. That was just what I chose. This one is sweet. It's got the hearts with the different kind of colored hearts. It's got one of the wood um, butterflies. You're in my thoughts with a bit more washi tape. And here's another one. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And I mean, stamping up, it, it almost looks like I stamped all this and I didn't. All I did was stamp the sentiment and stuck it to the top of my card. All right, you're amazing. Well, let me tell you, this cardstock is just amazing and so pretty that I didn't really know what to put on here because it's just so pretty that you really didn't need anything, quite honestly. Um, but I stamped your amazing on here, added the pretty heart and some of the sequins. And then here you go, hello, hello. Again, you've got your butterfly. This is one of the self-adhesive uh, die cuts. So this is kind of one of the stickers that I just stuck on here. And this one here is fun. This has kind of got some more of the um, soft um, watermelon wonder to it. And this one's pretty as well. It's got the You're Amazing on there. Now I thought this was fun. This is the, the diagonal stripes and we just added some of the pop out flowers. Added those on there with some embellishments and some sequins. Just made it really, really pretty. You're in my thoughts with a couple hearts. So this is also one of the sentiments with one of the solid hearts. And there's the yellow one. Huge congrats. Very pretty, right? And the very, I know this box just keeps on giving and giving and giving, right? Well, here's one that says you're in my thoughts. And I just thought that was very pretty as well. So um, anyway, these are all of the cards that you can make 
um, with this kit. There's 20 cards here. There's all the embellishments. Um, and the exciting thing is, is you still have all of these things left over. Um, in the very first kit that I did, I did it just by the book. Um, I did forget, a, you know, maybe an embellishment or two, but still, I have all of these embellishments left. I have all of these sequins left, um, and I have a handful of flowers and leaves left. Not to mention, I have my washi tape left. So you can still create, and you can still make more cards from this kit. And let me not forget, the, um, the hero of this one is this wonderful stamp set. It's amazing. If you look on page 80 of your Stampin' Up! catalog, you're going to see all the sentiments that are in there that will live on for you. So I just want to thank you so much for stopping by Brandy's Cards and for giving me um, some time to have some, you know, stamp, uh, stamping is, you know, it's cheaper than therapy. It is absolutely wonderful. And with all the boxes in my house and all of the stress of not being able to find my things, this has been some calming time for me and a fun time to share with you. So I really appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget, if you go to brandyscards.com and um, it, or Br you go to my online store at brandycox.stampinup.net, which you'll find that link on brandyscards.com, um, and you place an order in the month of July, you're automatically going to be entered into our drawing to win two of these kits. All right, and if you're in Stamp Club, many of you are in Stamp Club, you are also going to be in that drawing as well. So no worries about that. Okay. So thanks so much for stopping by, and until next time, have a blessed day.